This is my uh, GTEC Aero Ram, um, and what I want to show you is a problem with the design of the rollers and the brushes on uh, on this model. This is the original model. Um, I don't know if they've changed it in the new model. Um, they've changed quite a lot of things, but I don't know if they changed the brush uh, roller design. Um, just take off the dust collection bin. Put that out of the way. Um, turn it over, you'll be able to see that um, the rollers, like all of these type, are covered in hair. It's because my daughter's got long hair, my wife's got long hair, um, and it gets wrapped around these. Um, now, as you can see, if you turn it round, like all the rollers on these vacuum cleaners, there's a groove cut into the roller which is supposed to allow you to slip a knife or scissors or something under the hair and cut through it and pull it out which works reasonably successfully for the most part I can have another go. And by doing that, you can clear out most of the brushes. Okay, so that's looking pretty clear, um, but the problem with this design is that where the bearings are in here and here, and at the end of the rollers, you just get a great load of other stuff stuck in them, and you'll be surprised when you take this off exactly what happens. So if you want to remove this, you take these screws out of either end. Oops, actually dropping my knife. There's one long one and one short one. Pretty obvious when you come to put them back in, but just remember there's one that size and one that size. You can then lift. lift that silver part out of its housing. Pull the roll off. And straight away at this end, you can see that's come out of the end of there. And the same at this end. Pull it off. So you can, only, you can only clear these bits by taking the whole roller off. Back in the right way. 
and the same on this side this end bit pulls out and you've got that hole mass of hair and string back on with the hole where it goes onto the spindle. And back on. By doing this, you've, you've basically cleared away the bearings um, where these brushes spin on and removed all this. I mean, that's string and all sorts of stuff in there, um, hair from all around the bearings, and that will make a massive difference to the speed that these now rotate at again uh, and improve the performance, put it back on uh, where it should be. Um, and generally do a better job cleaning. So it only takes a few minutes to do, but it's definitely worth doing. You've got to do it every couple of months, I reckon. Um, and it's just a shame that these are designed with these grooves there that get so fouled up and you can't see it. <laughs>